Yeah, hello. And I know that I'm very excited because today I have a special friend of mine, Stephanie. And I'm really also like very honored to be able to introduce Stephanie for our to our community who may not know her yet. Of course, a lot of you know her because of her big heart, because she always there uh, for us. She's always there for the fur babies uh, to help us, to help the fur babies. And, you know, special thank you to Julie Lannister, who introduces to each other. Uh, Stephanie did an incredible fundraising event, uh, and we were able to share it to Pet Picks Academy. It was in the beginning of when we met. But today, we are going to learn more about Stephanie, about her big heart, and about her new adventure in a wonderful way and ways she is finding to help our pet community. So without further ado, I want to thank you, Stephanie, for being with us today. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited to speak with you and, and hi to all my designer friends out there that I've gotten to know in the last year and a half. Julie, a little bit longer, but um, so thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm also, you know, very excited. So for people who may not know you, can you just tell where do you live and kind of, you know, you are a uh, for mom of three cute babies and just how your story started. Well, thank you. Um, so my name is Stephanie Fleming and I'm the executive director with a nonprofit called Inspire and Flourish. We reside in the very cold state of Maple Grove, Minnesota. So Minnesota. Um, and um, I've always loved dogs. And of course, um, for you that are friends with me, you've seen the picture of me with my three chihuahuas. Um, and I try to support the rescue community all across the, the world. And the reason why I say that is when you do rescue work or you volunteer and you see, you look into the eyes of a little animal, you're not going to ask them where their address is and where they're from. You're going to want to help them. So, of course, the picture of me is with the representation of my three dogs. My little brown dog, Coco, is my local dog. My little, one of my little blonde dogs, Lily, who's actually a um, uh, therapy dog as well. She's originally from California, part of a partnership that brought her here. So she's my national dog. And then most recently, I got Miss Stella. Yep, there they are. And Miss Stella's on my right or your left. She's my international dog. Um, we helped uh, support a spay and neuter clinic in San Pancho, uh, Mexico, out of Puerto Vallarta. And we had 117 dogs and cats that we were able to spay and neuter. And little Miss Stella was the only one that was actually surrendered that day that did not have a home. So as my girlfriend, Karen points out, she manifested that dog for me because she knew I needed another one. So that became my little dog. I took care of her and brought her back to the United States. I always have at least three chihuahuas. I've actually had four, so. Wow. Yeah, so we just love helping animals wherever we can. It doesn't really matter where they are. And um, which, of course, we'll talk about some of the things that we've done, you know, both locally, nationally and internationally. Yeah. And I admire you. And as you know, I'm Chihuahua mom as well. And it's so interesting, like this little beautiful fur kids and guy, and doesn't matter Chihuahuas or other fur babies, they are fur babies, they're family members. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm very impressed and I don't even know if you have time to sleep because you like you're so dedicated the you know the last event you did the fashion event in Minnesota by the way I would say hi from warm Florida mm. yeah, it's probably 75 80 degrees which for people from other countries it's really hot friends but it's always yeah. hot yeah. I, you know the job I have not seen snow in 11 years I'm not joking it's oh. the truth I miss snow well, grass is always green, Avasi. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do. So. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, sorry, I had to say this joke. But you know, I, I admire you. I do have other friends from Minnesota, and I, you know, I respect you. And again, you're working on a very large scale in a way you work. You know, I, I would say globally. You know, if it's it's your state, it's U.S., it's all around the world. Uh, and your last event was really spectacular with the rescue babies, you know, walking on the aisle with the amazing and wonderful designers who supported you. And you did such an incredible job. It was really beautiful. Thank you. 
Thank you. you know, yeah. It's a, it's a, you know, it's always a changing process. You know what I mean? Yeah. Every year you learn to do something different. So, yeah. And you have done a lot. And so can you share with us a little more about your new project you're working on? So, you know, people can know how incredible it is what you do. And if anyone is uh, kind of in a position and would like to help and volunteer, uh, you know, they can jump on board. Okay. Well, thank you for that. Well, you know, we try to do one to two projects a year. And one of them, of course, is locally, which we try to maybe uh, work on a, either in a spay and neuter clinic or fund the spay and neuter clinic, volunteer, whatever. And then the second thing we try to do is maybe a little larger scale. So we don't look for these projects, unfortunately. They just kind of come about based upon the needs of the world. So um, we're trying to help Poland in the best way that we can. And we don't want to come up with what we think is what they need. We want to offer a suggestion and then, of course, go with the flow in terms of what their needs may be. But our thought process is um, to work with a rescue that is very close to the border and help them pull animals out of their current shelter, animals that have been in their shelter so we know they do not have a, a mom and dad, they do not have a home, pull them out relocate them to Minnesota and find loving homes for them here through our rescue partnerships that we have in Minnesota. That would then free up those physical buildings for the people that are crossing over. And even though uh, Poland is allowing people to cross over with their animals, even without documentation, from what I understand, um, they're refugees, they're trying to find a place to live, they're trying to settle down. If those shelters were freed up, they could maybe leave their personal animals there for a while while they get their lives together. That's just our thought process, um, if, if that would help them. Um, I know that um, we've done that with a, a friend of mine, we've done that in other countries, other people have done that, it, it does work, but we wanna make sure it's what they want. So we've been doing some legwork on our end, getting people on the ground in Poland that are willing to help. And so we just need some additional people uh, that, can be set in place so that we can get these animals from the shelters to the airport and then get them on the planes in cargo. Um, it's only a seven hour flight from uh, there to Chicago. And then at that point I would drive to Chicago and pick them up. All of that of course costs money. So yes. um, we're, looking, we're looking for people that wanna maybe help here, but mostly people that know people in Poland um that's where we want to focus on because we don't know with the uncertainty of ukraine it's maybe easier to talk to people that have already crossed over that are already in poland and at least somewhat settled or if they live there and mm -hmm. then of course we have to finalize how much that's going to cost per dog and it can be yeah. anywhere from 500 to a thousand dollars based upon the size of the dog wow wow and i know that i mean first of all this is a, a wonderful way it's very clever it's very creative way of being able to help uh and uh as we know i mean obviously i am originally from bulgaria i continue communicating with friends from Poland, you know from germany and uh you know with my own parents keep asking how is the situation there and i think that with the way you want to help. I'm actually really like grateful. And I really hope that friends, whoever is watching this video or you are listening this as a podcast, please, please, please do not hesitate to reach out to Stephanie in the notes already as we are uh, currently live streaming to our Facebook uh, Pet Picks Academy Paparazzi group and, and we already share with other you know, profiles and etc. It's already Stephanie's information. So if you have a little opportunity to volunteer, if you have an opportunity to donate, or maybe you have even sometimes we simply share you can help those babies and i can tell you coming from a country bulgaria it's not poland but i'm sure they are probably similar to my own country and we have a lot of homeless for babies a lot and that's why actually in bulgaria my friends told them crazy i wanted to become a pet photographer with that said i'm sure that there are a lot of fur babies in poland as well which need your help and I really hope you are going. And 
you know, sometimes donating even five dollars, you know, or three dollars, that's the price of a coffee. Maybe you can say, listen, today I will make my own coffee at home. Uh, let me give back on my own ways and you're going to see impact peaks and together with stephanie and the people who are already jumping on board as you can hear from different countries we will continue uh, helping in our own ways as we know pet peak strengths it's sharing you know and sometimes sharing it's caring most of the time so really encourage you share and share and share share to your Facebook personal profile, share to your Instagram, share if you have a group or you're part of group, as long as you check with the admins and they're okay with that. But let's really make a difference. And then can you tell people like, I mean, obviously I mentioned some of the ways they can help, but are there other ways I probably didn't mention? How people can help? Well, you know, we'll start to maybe do some um, online auctions, maybe online. Um, yes, which people yeah. can share uh, if somebody has something large that they can donate. If they're from Minnesota or the surrounding areas, if it's something that someone can utilize locally here, that would be great. Um, if it's going to be something national like what you do, you know, you don't have to be in Florida to take advantage of things that you offer. But just, you know, we're still kind of working on the details of how yes. to bring the money in. Yes. Um, you, you all know, or you know, at least that I run a photo booth business. Yes. And I do donate the proceeds after the expenses of that booth to the nonprofit work. So for the month of April and May, all my proceeds are going to help Incredible. with this effort. And, um, you know, I even just did an event on Saturday where I just put out a little hat um, and raised, um, you know, $250 just in donations, wow. just from doing the photo booth. I mean, let me tell yeah. you, wow. uh, a, a night of $20 in tips is a good night, but the, the kind of money that we got was really good just yes. from letting people know what we're trying to do. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. So just kind of coming up with ideas right now to how to fundraise in addition to the photo booth. Yeah. Oh, which, which reminds me, you know that we have an online store as well. Yes, you do. So all of our, and you put that in your notes, all of our proceeds, no matter what, on a general basis, always goes towards our rescue efforts and our, and our work with the rescue community. So if you see anything on the fashions for furry friends dot Com website um, and you make a purchase we'll donate all that money as well i love it and by the way i want to say hi we have ali from canada uh, we also have um, uh, leanne from australia who are currently watching us on instagram and we have uh, you know sammy uh, and Nito, so she's watching as well so hi to everyone thank you friends for being with us and we are talking on how we can help uh, and rescue fur babies uh, from Poland so we can free more space on the border there so these four babies can come to us and you know have more space for the people coming you know as you know to Poland so please share this and know that you can make a difference and I'm grateful to you for the store and you know again it's pretty incredible how like so everything what you do it's Oh, you know, so many different ways to help and support. And I admire you. And I know that we will continue. If you're doing a fundraiser, we'll again help friends. If you are able to donate, whatever it is, a pair of sunglasses, an outfit, bandanas, whatever you name it, doggy treats, covering book, a book, whatever it is please, again, reach out to Stephanie. Again, her information will be out. It's already on Facebook. And just, again, know that it matters and you can help. All of us, we can help. And, and I am grateful that we as a community, we can help. We can help. We are global. You know, people say, it's so funny, as a local photographer, I always thought, oh, I'm helping 40, a charity organization here. Then I said, oh, I'm helping US with my classes. Now oh, we're helping the, the globe, you know, the people from co different continents, from different countries, different languages. And imagine how powerful we are together in a way that you reunite our forces to help others. And it's just, I don't know, I just, I, I admire this about, the pet lover community. And I want to thank you for the honor to you to be here with us and to share with us your ideas and your tribes and to everyone who is already jumping on the board 
to help you and the but also friends you need to jump as well because when it's more it's we can help more and i'm also excited that you know stephanie was so generous she will be highlighted in our april magazine issue which is going to be published by the end of next week so hopefully we have more of your people who are volunteering also to jump as well and what else would you like to share with people well, I, I want to, um, of course, thank you for allowing me to to be here and Always. to share to share what it is that we're sharing. But you you said one thing which is so true: we're all the same everywhere, and yes. you know, um, and everybody loves their animals, no matter what country they are in and what language they speak. They, especially the animals, they they speak with us to us with their love. So I love that everybody could come together. We'll try to keep a pulse on what's going on. Um, there's Great. lots of other organizations that are doing things well doing things as well. Um, but we will come together as pet people and we'll come together and do something very significant to help them in a way that they want to be helped. So um, if you have any questions at all about how you can help, you can reach out to me via email. Um, I think you even have my phone number on there. I'm always answering my phone. But um, don't be don't hesitate to, to call me or ask me or email me if there's if you have ideas. I would relish those. I, I really love it. So. No, thank you. I love it. And, and thank you, friends. And I can tell you, coming from a different country, it's so funny. Sometimes I, you know, speak to my friends and, you know, and family here. I, I just remind everyone how fortunate we are with the life we live. But being raised and born in a small country, which is very similar to Poland. I myself have been in Poland a few times with my parents when I was growing up. I can tell you, friends, the lifestyle is very different. And uh, and every single help, even if you think, oh, two dollars, what is two dollars? Well, do you know that two dollars actually it's quite a bit. It's a lot of food uh, for for babies. And if we have five people to donate two dollars, here it's ten dollars. And by the time we have a hundred people to help, here it is saved one life. But I also see it. We are right now doing three ways saving. You know, I always like to look at the big picture. So first of all, we are saving that particular fur baby's life, bringing it to a home. So we are also saving the people who will adopt the baby because they will have a loving fur baby. So we're already saving two parties. The third party is the fact that, you know, you are free space, which is right now so needed for a different fur babies. So this is three ways of helping and you tell me if this is not magnificent and not so honorable and probably there are a million of american words in english words i can find to describe it but i would leave it as this so if until now and you know we as pet pigs community we supported you know uh, pet cancer community you know or uh, uh, fundraising we supported so many organization but i personally feel very passionate because this is a new way of showcasing support. And again, it's, it's a very big picture, but the beautiful part is that each of you friends can help to this picture, it's like a big puzzle. And each of us, if we put the part of a, you know, just one piece of the puzzle, then the puzzle will be completed and we will have three parties happy and four babies happy in loving the homes and with hooks and smiles and people who love them, give them the, the life they deserve. And I cannot thank you enough, Stephanie, for being here. You know, I, I know you don't hear this enough. You're a very humble person, but bravo to you because you work hard. You donate from your regular business. By the way, friends, if you live in Minnesota and, you know, Stephanie has this amazing photo booth, which are very like fantastic in a way that she has fun props. She supports a lot of small pet businesses. You know, we have a lot of names we could mention. Uh, she donate money from this. You know, you also donate money from the jewelry in the store. So however I see it and hi to everyone who is jumping. It's so nice to see you, Christy. Hi there, hi from Instagram, Lily's mom. So there are so many beautiful ways and I don't know what possibly person can do more than you are doing. So thank you so much for dedicating, uh, you know, so much time and effort and passion because people, they don't know. Myself, I volunteer to my local photography organization. That's a lot of work behind the scene. A lot of emails, hours, 
uh, you know, brainstorming. Sometimes you even have a headache from brainstorming, believe it or not. Uh, it's all worth it. So thank well, I you. Do want, I do want to mention that it, it always seems to fall like it's onto me, but I need my volunteers and we all yes, need everybody we else. It's, um, it's everyone coming together. I can think of the ideas or I can bounce them off of some friends who think of them or, you know, I can oversee it, but I still need people to, to make it successful. We all need yeah. people to make it successful. Yes, exactly. We need yeah. people who, to volunteer. I do agree with you. Yeah. And, uh, you know, thank you to each of you friends who it's, who believes in Stephanie and who helps the magic to happen. And the same thing, thank you to each of you friends who support Pet Picks. It doesn't matter where you live around the world, we love you and we thank you. And uh, I'm excited about this new journey. You know, you are taking, we will help the way we can. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know that I really hope my message today, it's friends, is just think big and see that it's so much more that you can do and help. And it's also this personal fulfillment to know that you helped a brother or a sister of your four babies to have better life. In fact, too, you, you know, because there will be free time uh, space and there can be more there. So thank you again, Stephanie, for being Welcome. with us today. I really appreciate this is just our first life. Uh, a lot of more, and uh, I'm looking forward to reading your article in the magazine. So friends, make sure to expect our magazine issue coming up to the end of next week. Uh, so then you can read and learn more about Stephanie, and hopefully we can highlight some of the people who volunteer and we'll continue sharing this story and uh, making it to a beautiful a fairy tale story together because it could be and it will be we'll, we'll keep everybody updated yeah. that's for sure yeah. yeah thank you so much stephanie thank you. thank you friends have an amazing day thank you thank Bye -bye. you so much thank